Hi guys, welcome to another edition of It's So Fluffy Nails and today I just wanted to talk a little about a recent trip that I had to go see family that I haven't seen in so many decades and I got to see my grandmother after a very long time and they live in Taipei, Taiwan. So um, I don't really travel that often but one of the things that I did look forward to in my travels was going to another country and just seeing what nail polish was available somewhere else. Um, obviously, if you hear my accent, I'm from the U.S. and um, so um, one of the the nail polishes that I kind of saw in a fuzzy picture somewhere from one of the the cosmetics ladies was actually this right here. It's a La Top Coat Clarté Brightening Top Coat. Um, after I followed up and asked, is that actually in the stores? I never heard back. It, as far as I know, they. They may have never received it or they had never sold it. In any case, I've never seen it on the Chanel.com US website and I've never seen it in any stores. So um, I was really surprised to be going to um, a duty-free shop in Japan and I saw it and I had to pick it up because, well, I had never seen it in the US so I was just going to take advantage of it and it's one of the nice mementos that I I got from the trip besides all the lovely pictures and videos with my family so <laughs> um, the brightening top coat I, I love the sales ladies pitch to me when we were at the airport because um, we were in Japan and I don't speak Japanese and um, maybe she didn't speak as much English I'm not sure but she came up to me trying to sell nail polish and um, one thing that did surprise me was that the first uh, trip on the way there I was looking for specifically the long wear nail color the the blue one that I haven't been able to find the marinier uh, they didn't even have the long wear nail polishes period they had none of them no colors so uh, let alone the blue one did not come around so in any case when she was trying to sell me this one as I was looking for all these long wear nail polishes that were not there um, she's like this is the party top coat and you know me I love a good party not really, but I, w I was really entertained that she was trying to sell this to me as a party top coat. <laughs> um, in any case, it's called a brightening top coat. I'm not really sure how much brightening it's really supposed to do. It's very iridescent and shimmery in the bottle. It kind of has um, more of a yellow than I expected. Uh, when I saw it, uh, I immediately thought of Intermezzo, which is also kind of like a, a white color in the bottle which is going to go to translucent with a pink shimmer or iridescence to it whereas this one's more of a gold iridescence um, an atmosphere uh, which is a lot more pink uh, in iridescence bottom line is though neither of these was ever um, sold as a top coat or marketed as a top coat of course you can always combine them um, I'm not sure if this top coat actually has some kind of properties that makes it stronger than these other two but in terms of color I think they're pretty close so I'm gonna go ahead um, so in the previous video I had done some organdy I thought that the organdy color would be great to pair with something like this just to brighten it up just a tiny bit um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down some atmosphere oh. I'm gonna put it on this finger right here I don't know if you can see it, but it has like a little bit of iridescence. It's very pretty. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the intermezzo on the ring finger so that the middle finger is wide open. Here's one coat of the intermezzo on top of organdy. here again so looking at them side by side um, the intermezzo just kind of made it a little bit whiter since there is more white in the base color than the atmosphere which is a little bit more pink but they're both very iridescent um, probably the atmosphere does a little better job in 
in that shimmery effect, whereas the intermezzo kind of just created a mother of pearl effect that's very hard to see on the video, I think, but I promise you it's there. So I'm gonna finish up here with the actual marketed brightening top coat. And it's funny to me because when I think of all the brightening things that Chanel does, I think of the the LeBlanc line for the skincare, which is a brightening skincare line. And actually they do talk about using pearl shimmer to finish um, your skin off. <laughs> so. That's one coat of the La Tapa Coat Clarté. Um, it's really hard to see, but I think that the top coat, the top coat clarté comes off a lot closer to atmosphere. Uh, it's a little bit more yellow, like uh, like it shows up in the bottle. I think the biggest difference is that there's a little bit of tiny gold micro shimmer that becomes more apparent in uh, looking at the top coat clarté in person, whereas the atmosphere remains more of an iridescence. So if you have something that's sort of like organdy and you want to extend your use and uh, out of a single application i think after a couple days applying um, something like the top coat can be a lot of fun to kind of just freshen up the look for a little bit longer um, so really happy to to find the top coat while i was traveling the funny thing is um, on the way there, I searched for the long wear nail polishes all day long in Chanel boutiques at makeup counters and overall they pretty much have the same stuff as, as we do in the US, just a little bit later in this case. Um, by the end of the trip, they had finally gotten all the long wear nail colors in the stores and it was really fun going up to the counters and they're trying to sell me on this nail polish that's already on my fingers, but they're like, you must have gotten that somewhere else true that I did um, but the other fun thing was going into drug stores um, there were a lot of random little cosmetic stores like Cosmed or Watson's where like there's just so many different interesting products that they, they sell in Taipei and um, I just really needed a nail polish remover and the only thing that I could find was this little thing um, which is a lot like something like this they're like alcohol free wipes that are like microns in thickness, so it's it's just not fun to use in my opinion. I really love using um, the Formula X Delete All for the time being. So, um, but this did the trick. It took forever, and it probably took me like 10 pads to remove nail polish from all 10 fingers, and it was a it was a mess, but it worked. Um, that was just a little fun thing from from my trip. Um, by the time I left, uh, I just. I'm glad that I had this. If you have a chance to go look at those drugstores, they have so many different kinds of um, nail polish brands. They have Sally's, they have their own also though, they have their own lines of gels, pastel colors, so many different things and so many different ways to jazz up your, your manicures with glitter, stickers, anything. And I think they probably have more variety than, than we do in our standard drugstores. But since I don't have the dexterity to, to make a pretty manicure with stickers and jewels and whatnot, um, this was fine for me, uh, a little bit of nail polish remover. So if you have a chance to, to check out a duty-free shop or go to a drugstore in another country and just look around their nail polish area, please share with us what you find. I think it's so fun to see. Um, and I definitely hope to take advantage of it. One tip that I have for you guys, if you do have the chance to go into a duty-free shop, I actually saw some of the old nail polishes that have been sold out in the US um, department stores for a while, like the Vibrato Fortissimo I saw in the airport. Um, and crazy thing that blew my mind, they were still only $25, which as many of you guys know, Chanel has been slowly marking up their bottles up to $28 at this point for, for each bottle. So I was very surprised to see um, that they were still at $25 in some places. I'm not going to say which airport, just in case they go back and remark it. But um, if you see those, take advantage of it. Sometimes the, the currency exchange is also in our favor, so you can get a great deal if you're looking for some 
fun memento from your trips abroad. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys all get a chance to travel and I'm very grateful that I've had this chance too. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.